Hi, I've recently been looking for a new microphone for when I'm recording at the PC and the opportunity to review this particular microphone came up so I thought I'd give it a go, see how good it is, what the sound quality is like and then if it's any good then I'll continue to use it for those videos. So this is the UM980 and this is available from Amazon and what you get inside this particular box, although there are different configurations, is the desk articulated arm stand. It comes with a pop filter, obviously the microphone itself and an anti-vibration mount. And then it also comes with a little desktop stand as well. So let's have a little look inside the box. So when you open the box you get your user manual. You get the pop filter that comes with a little clamp to clip onto the arm. We've got the small desktop stand if you don't want to use it with the articulated arm. And then in the bottom part of the compartment we get a uh, little cable tie. We get the foam windshield. We get the microphone itself. A USB cable. And we get the anti-vibration mount. So this has some elasticated uh, parts here which separate the microphone mount from the clamp. Uh, we actually get a different microphone stand for attaching to the end of the articulated arm. We get the clamp to mount it to the desktop or the bench or whatever you're connecting it to. And then finally we get the articulated arm. So unlike the other microphones that I have in the lab, this one has a USB port. So that means it has the preamplifier and the ADC built in to the microphone itself. This one has a 16 millimeter electric condenser element inside it. There is a little picture here which just shows uh, conceptually what it looks like inside. So there is a electric condenser microphone and it's a polar pattern. So effectively the sound coming from the front gets received by the microphone properly and it tries to uh, attenuate the sound coming from the back. So you do need to speak into this front side of the microphone. And what we've got here basically is we've got a desktop mount. So we screw these parts together. This is if you're doing sort of portable recording. And then this mount can screw directly into the bottom of the microphone. The problem with this setup is that you eliminate the vibration damping that this kind of mount affords. So uh, this can fit on here, but you lose your center of balance, so you can't really use it there. This is mainly intended to use with the articulated arm. So the quality of the accessories is fair. You can tell you haven't spent hundreds of pounds on these accessories, but they're certainly not going to fall apart, uh, you know, once you've got it on your bench. If you're going to use it in the studio, I don't think it would last that long. There's certainly nothing wrong in terms of the construction, it just feels quite lightweight. Similarly, the microphone itself is actually built really nicely. It feels quite heavy in the hand and there's no indication really that uh, there's any parts that are going to come uh, dropping off or anything like that. But it does have indications that it is a lower cost product. So for example, this chrome coating on the plastic is a clear indication of some reduction in cost. But uh, overall, I mean, it all feels quite nice. Uh, I don't think we're going to have any problems in terms of the build quality. So this clamp I think would mount onto worktops or benches up to about 53 millimeters. I think much more than that and you're not really going to get any clamping effect. So with this mount you can adjust the angle of the endpoint here and then you can also adjust the height and the angle of the microphone and then to actually put the microphone in you squeeze these clips and then you can just drop the microphone in here. And the intention with these condenser microphones with a cardioid polar pattern, you've got this sort of uh, pattern around the front of the microphone, but that does mean that you do need it really quite close to the noise source. So you do need, it, need this quite close to your face. What I'm currently using is a shotgun microphone, which I can have way out the way, and it's got a very directional uh, pickup, which means that although it's quite a distance away, we're not picking up a whole lot of the noise from the room, it's more focused on me. Whereas if we had this microphone a similar distance away, you'd have to turn the gain up and you'd pick up all of the noise in the room as well as my voice. So this is intended to sit very much closer to you, then you can turn the gain right down and you get your noise isolation that way. Now in the marketing information it says it has a 24-bit 192kHz ADC on here, 
That doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get any better quality than we would do from a different ADC, but it does mean that we can import it in 24 bits into your editing program, and then you can adjust the gain and everything quite happily within there, and then uh, encode it however you need to after that. It also comes with this nice little pop filter which you can mount onto the boom arm and then you just position this however you want in front of the microphone to get rid of the pops when you're saying certain uh, words. So the next step is to connect up the USB to the PC and this should just enumerate as a standard audio device. So at the bottom of the device is a USB connector and it connects via USB 2 and it should just be automatically detected by the computer. So let's have a look at that. So it's picked it up as Realtek Audio USB. And it looks like we're ready to go. So the next thing to look at is the sound quality from the microphone. So we're currently listening to the shotgun microphone. Let's switch over. And now we're listening to the condenser microphone. Now there's no external gain setting and because we've just got a USB connector we've got no connection to my standard analog audio interface. So any gain settings or adjustments have to be done either in Windows or in a piece of software that has direct control of the audio driver. So I'm just going to talk a little bit louder and just see how the microphone handles clipping. I can see on the VU meter on OBS Studio that we're now in the red part of the VU meter. It'll be interesting to see whether it can adjust down the gain so that we don't start uh, getting clicks and pops where the gain has exceeded 0 dB. So overall I think this is really quite a nice microphone. I've just listened back to the sound quality and it certainly seems quite natural and the handling of the clipping is really quite good so it did adjust down the gain so that we didn't get uh, some really distorted sound coming from the microphone. Now this retails for about £50, £55 I think on Amazon, something like that for this particular setup. There are some others where you only get the desk stand or you only get the articulated arm. I think this is quite a nice configuration because it gives you the most flexibility for using the microphone. And I think this setup is pretty good for anyone who's just getting started either in YouTube videos or in making podcasts because everything is self-contained. When I bought the shotgun microphone I had to buy an audio interface, had to buy the XLR leads and everything to go with it and it ended up being quite an expensive endeavour so I don't think this is bad value for money at all. It'll be interesting to see what a more expensive condenser microphone would be like compared to this so I may end up buying one of those just to compare. So thank you to Uhuru for sending this microphone in for review. I'm going to set this up next to my PC so that when I do those kind of videos I don't have to reposition the shotgun microphone and I'll put the links to this microphone in the description down below. But until next time, thanks for watching.